Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Foundation. Let's go ahead and, and zoom in. Oh, it looks like we've got... Uh, no, we do not want any more delivery quests. For those, we're already having enough trouble trying to get 30 berries for this quest. In fact, we have... Okay, we got a few berries in here, but uh, not nearly enough for all of the needs that we have. Okay, so I think what I want to do, let's get our windows pulled back up. And let's see what we've got. So on our list, uh, we have the new lumber camp that we just saw was completed. And of course, we are working hard on our church, which has capacity of 40 which will be very nice whenever that happens. Uh, money is still doing okay, but that is likely to change here in the very near future. And I'm gonna have to try to keep my excitement under wraps as much as I can to keep from getting us in trouble. Because some of the buildings that we're gonna be uh, dealing with in the near term are gonna really start to cost us some gold. And as of right now, we don't have enough of it to do everything we need to do. So we're gonna have to keep that trade going as uh, strongly as we possibly can. All right, so we've got two gathering huts that are going strong. Uh, keeping an eye out for that church because as soon as the church is done, we will have enough uh, to complete the quest that we have for commoner. And then that will give us two more spaces uh, to expand into for free, at least aside from the taxes we're gonna have to pay. So let's see what it would it cost us for a gathering hut. Looks like 20. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I think we'll get our money's worth out of that one. Let's go ahead and put this guy right about there. So we're going to put this guy on the pathway. And then you can see we've already got two unemployed uh, villagers. So with that underway, we got a lot of construction that's underway. We still got to make our Lord's Manor over here, uh, along with our a couple of treasuries, which will expand our our maximum gold that we can carry. A lot going on right now, but one thing I want to make sure and do is take a look at where we're going to be next. What two properties do we want next? Uh, let's look at the desirability. And we've already taken a look at residential. We've seen this before, you know, the green areas that are influenced by various different buildings. We know about that. Fertility is going to be huge for us in the future. Uh, and this is areas where we can grow things, namely our wheat farms. So we've got some nice area up here, but I've sort of flagged that already, uh, if possible, to be for our housing but down here, I look and see that we've got a ton of available room that is very fertile. So I like this area. Over here, not so much. But then we also need to take a look at iron ore because, well, I'm not seeing any. As I look around in the neighboring areas, none in our existing areas. So here we go. Oh, we do have some right here. There's a green area right there. That'll be good. So that tells me that our best bet is to try to move down into this area. And that's still going to be a little bit of time before we get into uh, the iron ore and, and smelting that and so on. Uh, but I do want to keep it keep that in mind for uh, the future. We've got four unemployed folks now. But for right now, it's looking like these two will be the areas we'll want to move into. And we'll just see how that goes. Okay, let's get that turned off. And getting very close on the church. Looks like we need some planks and tools before we're done there. All right, no construction appears to have started. Uh, well, maybe a little bit of construction has started on our new gathering hut. But we definitely want that to be going. Uh, oh, look at here. We can deliver this. Let's do that. Go ahead and do that. Look at that. Plus 10. We are now at plus 11. Doing good on Splendor as well at 7. Very nice. So once we get to 20 Splendor, 
then we're going to be able to unlock uh, some other things. But again, I'm not terribly worried about uh, these right now or really any of these. But it is good to know that we're on the right track. So that took basically all of our berries. But keep in mind, we still have quite a few berries over at the market. Uh, and we're going to have multiple markets as time goes on because we'll need them. All right, there we go. Church has been completed, which you can see frees up uh, our ability to get our two free territories. Our farm field is uh, a new zone is available, nine new buildings. So we did a lot right there very quickly. Okay, let's go in and take a look at our territory. We want to purchase this and this. Okay, now we've expanded our land once again. Let's come in and set up some new zones. We'll do extraction, uh, and I'm going to try to get these resources taken care of before I forget. Because it would be just like me uh, to forget something like that in my haste to do many other things. All right, farm field. Uh, let's go ahead and use all of this land that we can. We want to use as much um, as is needed by the farmer. The farmer will, or the farmers, will determine how much they need. Uh, so right now, I think this should be a good amount to give them to start off with. And if they need a little bit more or a little bit less, we'll see how it goes. All right, so far, so good there. And okay, I think we're in good shape. So let's go ahead and line up some of these buildings. Now we're going to get into uh, what I was talking about with, let's go ahead and speed things back up again. Uh, speed things up so that we can see uh, the work continuing and we can talk about our new buildings. So we've got the wheat farm, which ultimately will turn the wheat into bread. But in order to do that, it's going to take three steps. The wheat farm is going to cost us 100 gold up front. The windmill is going to cost us 200 and then finally the bakery is 300 So yeah, that's going to take quite a bit uh, in order for us to, to be able to make this happen. It's going to be huge. In fact, uh, let's see, is there anybody that is selling? No, nope, I don't see anybody selling uh, wheat out there. So that would be one way we could skip straight to the bakery. Simply uh, purchase the um, the needed ingredients, but that is not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of our wheat farms right here. Let's see, sort of on the edge. Now remember, I'm going to put residential. That's the plan, anyway. I'm going to put residential here as well. Okay, so there we go. That was the wheat farm, which is 100. And let's see, these guys will start work on that pretty quick. Okay, that leaves us at 358. Uh, and of course, that number will continue to change. We're still looking okay on our budget. All right, let's look and see. Uh, what about, let's go ahead and put a market out here. Because we're going to need... Um, a market as these guys move back and forth because they're constantly moving back and forth between their job, their house, uh, the market to get food, a well, and so on. Uh, so I think, let's go ahead and put one, let's go ahead and put a market like right here. And so that is a food stall. Uh, let's go ahead and start that construction. Okay, so I believe the wheat farm can handle, um, I want to say it is three farmers. So we've got enough there. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and press our luck on something here. Because we have 318, 326 gold. I'm going to go ahead and put down a windmill. Uh, let's see, where is the windmill? There it is right there. There's the entrance on the 
northern side. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in right there. Put it right next to the wheat farm. And the idea is if I come back to uh, the farm field. So my idea is to put the windmill here. We got a wheat farm right here next to it. And then I'll put another wheat farm right over here. And then we'll have more wheat growing all in this area. So I'm trying to centrally locate uh, the windmill, maybe enough room for another one. And then of course, we're also gonna need a bakery in here somewhere as well. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, it may or may not work. Uh, let's see, an extraction. Did I get everything I needed? I think so. Guess we'll find out at some point if I didn't. All right, everything seems to be okay. We're down to 147 gold, which gets me nervous because we're getting down closer to that zero number. And it tends to fluctuate quite a bit because we can't uh, count on the trade. Let's see, in fact, I just saw him come through. At least I thought that was the trader. Okay, we can't click on him, so maybe he's not. But we want to get that money back up there as quick as we can because we have one more building that we really need uh, to build because that's going to be sort of the end of this next uh, phase for us. Okay, more delivering of the berries. No, thank you. We're not going to mess with that right now. Uh, everything else looks like it's going pretty good. Let's see, let's pull up our resource panel. And let's just see. So we've got a decent amount of wood, not necessarily as high as I would like. Uh, but they're pretty expensive to build more uh, sawmills. So I'm not terribly excited about increasing our uh, wood production just yet. We've got enough berries to feed everyone but we'll see how long that lasts. Of course, no cloth yet. We're not into the sheep farms just yet. And we've got plenty of stone, so that's good. And a decent amount of planks. So, okay, not terrible. Not terrible at all. Okay, we've got some more villagers uh, coming in. Let's go ahead and expand these. Oops, wrong one. Let's go ahead and expand our residential. And again, we're going to expand back into these areas as much as we can. All right, for now, let's expand out here. You can see they've already put down uh, some roots here in the nearby area. But my goal long term is to use all of this area for residential. But I don't want to get too excited and get too much room out here. for these guys. Uh, let's see, let's make this a little bit better. Uh, okay, that'll work. All right, building complete wheat farm. Let's go ahead and get that production going with the maximum of three workers. And we'll find out how much of this available area they use. So we have, oh wow, look at there. Boy, I'm really behind on assigning these guys. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and assign these guys. We're going to need, of course, one or two for the windmill. Can't remember on that one. But let's go ahead and get some more stone. And okay, that takes care of our existing workers. And you'll notice in our workplace list, almost all of them, only this last stone cutter camp is not completely filled up. So that's good. That's what we want. Okay, looks like we've got some new housing going up. That'll take care of the housing issues that are popping up uh, right now. Okay, very nice. Happiness is at 74. Of course, we want to get that much higher, uh, but time will tell there. All right, so we're growing. And let's see, he is... There we go. Wow, we are really putting the wheat out there. Comes another one of the farmers. So they're going to use a good bit of this. Remember, we gave this entire area here as available land. Ooh, we get, we're complete on a gathering hut. That is awesome. So as we get more people coming in, 
which it looks like, oh, it's going to be a little while uh, because we just had new villagers drop in. So we got eight more days until we get uh, two more. But we want to make sure we get everybody uh, housing. We want to make sure everybody's got access to water and food and then ultimately clothing as well. Now in the future, I know there is uh, there's plans to do some things with protection and make sure that uh, your people feel protected by walls uh, as well as uh, a military presence and so on. But I don't think any of that's implemented just yet. All right, so the gathering hut is up and ready to go. Oh, we've got a food stall. Yes, we absolutely want to take care of our market. Uh, let's assign a villager as soon as they get there. Let's see, did they make it? Yes, they made it to the town center. There we go. And for right now, this is going to be berries. So that worker will run and grab some berries from storage, and then he will be busy, hopefully, making us some additional money because we surely need it. 300 gold is going to be a lot of gold for us to, uh, to shell out. And you can see we've just been notified that our Lord Manor is complete. So each of these treasuries have added 200 capacity to our gold, now bringing us up to a total of 900. Okay, very nice. We're already stocking berries and we're already selling berries. I like that quite a bit. And you can see our storage of berries is still looking good. Uh, let's see, our no quest up here. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Uh, let's see, where is it? Quest list. We'll turn that one off. We've got one unemployed person right now. Uh, where do they need to go? Let's put them in the new gathering hut. We're also going to need some people in the Lord Manor. I would assume these soldiers are there to protect the treasury, uh, but I'm not sure how much effect that really has. We'll certainly plan on using that going forward because I want to keep our our buildings fully stocked with workers but for right now I don't know that it particularly matters uh, partially because we don't have all that money all that much money in there let's take a look at our budget uh, we're in the positive right now in the green uh, we'll see how how long that lasts because I am certainly very excited about that going forward uh, particularly once we're able to get into the bread because the bread's going to make us money uh, in two ways. Number one, we can trade it with the neighboring cities, which we can see here. Um, we can also, actually, where is the bread? No, we cannot sell the bread to neighboring cities. Okay, um, my bad on that one. It's the clothes that we can sell by unlocking this next one. Of course, we need the bread to unlock the route. Uh, but we can also make a good deal of money selling clothes. You can see 10 gold for each of the clothes. That is huge. A good bit more than what we get for any of the other stuff. So we'll want to focus on clothing going forward. But first, we have got to get to making some bread. And of course, another option. If you don't want to approach this in the same way I am, uh, you could always go straight to the sheep farm and then the, the weaver hut and the workshop, which will cost you less gold up front, you can actually purchase the bread, uh, the 20 bread that you need to unlock this trade. You can actually uh, just purchase this and then get your production in line and start selling that. That's certainly a way to do it. In fact, that's the way I've done it in another of the playthroughs that I've had going on. But here, I wanted to try it this way because I feel like this is the most difficult way of doing it. Uh, and I wanted to have a little fun here. So let's come back. We need some more residential. These, these folks are just not happy with me. And let's see. Let's go ahead and put... Let's go ahead and extend this all the way to the beginnings of our road network there. Uh, and again, you can see these guys don't want to be anywhere outside of the green. Uh, I'm strongly considering putting more residential over here, uh, which I may do in the future. But for right now, I think this additional land uh, will work. And the way it, it generally works here is as long as these guys are in the green, as long as they're near the influential buildings, such as 
uh, the church, market, well, and so on, as long as they're near some of those, then you're generally in good shape. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's see. What do we need? We've got the treasury here, a couple that we need for Lord Manor. Uh, right now, actually, I'm thinking I want to use these gathering huts and try to make all the money we can uh, from those. Okay, we got two more villagers coming in. We are now up to 38. Uh, but back to our discussion about uh, why it matters whether you're in the green or not in the residential. This is for upgrade purposes, meaning that if you are uh, in a spot where you have all of the, the prerequisites to upgrade to the next level, such as surf or commoner and so on, then if they're in the green, then they're in an area where they will go ahead and upgrade or at least try to upgrade if they can. All right, so we've got the windmill that is up and going. We've got two more uh, workers on the way. Here they come. Okay, you can see our money is, I was not kidding when I said it's the more difficult way of, of doing this. And again, not to say that I've made all the right decisions along the way before now, because I most certainly have not. Okay, let's come back in under trade while we got a second here. And let's set up some new trading resources. Once we get to bread, let's go ahead and set up uh, selling that. Again, not that it's necessarily going to make money for us right now, uh, but we're not dealing with fish. Uh, but let's go ahead and... Okay, so there's the, the wheat, the flour... And then along the way, we'll get into close. We'll do 25 there. Uh, wool, same thing. We can make some money. We'll go up to 30 on that. And this is just, it's not anything we can use right now. Uh, but we're certainly, okay, I'm going to drop this a little bit so we can try to increase our income, uh, possibly from the polished stone. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, we've got stone. That's probably not going to sell. don't believe it's on anybody's list, but we'll go ahead and keep a little bit of it around. There we go. And then same thing with the wood. We've got a ton of it, so let's just go ahead and keep 50 of it around. And then, of course, we'll just drop this these numbers in here for everything that we might conceivably have, at least in the future. Fish being the only one that I know we're not going to have uh, going forward, at least for quite a while, if ever. Okay, money is sitting at 87, now 95. Let's take a glance at our budget, and we're slightly in the negative, so we need to get busy. We actually need to get some trade going on. Uh, let's see, is this a trader? Where did he go? He might be stuck in this group here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. So he's looking to buy. So let's just see exactly what he ends up doing. And we'll also keep a track as we are sitting at zero. There you go. So he purchased uh, quite a bit of stuff from us. And that dropped some nice money in force very nice so that's what we want we want as many of those traders to come by as we can get and of course we want to expand our trading opportunities which will expand the money we can ultimately make but the real key right now is can i make this work uh having spent trying to spend all of our gold in getting our food production up and going because in the long term, it could really work out for us. But in the near term, it is a very stressful way to go. But you can see we've already got some wheat starting to accumulate. And of course, these guys in the windmill will convert that over to flour. Which, uh, let's see, is anybody buying that? No. I was mainly looking right down here. 
um, and I don't see anything along those lines. Okay, so we'll let these guys continue on. Let's see, how many unemployed do we have? We've got four. Uh, let's see. Uh, the windmill. Oh, I thought we had. Well, never mind. Now we've got two in there. I could have sworn we already had two in there. So my mistake, not seeing that. And we've got two more. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and just assign some folks into uh, the Lord Manor. Again, I'm not sure that that actually makes much, if any, difference uh, at this particular point in time. Who knows? Maybe it'll keep some folks from stealing out of uh, the town treasury. But we'll see. We've got a couple more people we need to drop in there. Uh, we've got some more villagers that want to come and join us. We're going from 42. That'll put us to 44. Happiness is still looking good. But you notice it says one villager uh, is lacking. And then it doesn't really say. It just gives you a symbol there. Uh, they're talking about the, the church. Remember, we had a capacity of 40. We're now above 40. So we're going to need another church. So the question for us is, how much is it going to cost us for a church? Let's see, the core, uh, it's not going to cost us anything up front. It doesn't appear. Uh, of course, the maintenance cost is going uh, to be there, but overall, not too bad. So we'll need to get on that here fairly soon. Okay, we got two unemployed folks. So we'll put them to work on uh, the two treasury modules we have. And now that leaves us fully stocked of workers, except for the one stone cutter camp excellent excellent things are they're going good considering and i am very happy about that now we get to do one of the things that i really enjoy doing in this game and that is zooming in and just watching the ai go look at that it's carrying a lot saw one of the uh soldiers there there we go we got soldiers there next to the door on the treasury, making sure nobody comes in to take our money, which is now doing well. We're over 300. Uh, now down to 248. You can see it jumps around. So the good news is going slightly into the negative uh, really isn't a big deal at this particular point. Who knows what will happen uh, later on in the development of the game. Maybe they'll make it to where if you get down to zero, game is over. But for right now, it is not the case. Okay, all three of these gathering huts are fully operational, which is very good because we need to be offering some food to these folks. Okay, let's come back in and take another look at our bakery. We need 300. So we are, we're flirting with it. Uh, we're not quite there, but we are flirting with the amount of money that we're going to need. And we're running low on time as I'm trying to keep these videos uh, fairly short considering. And the considering part is I could play this game for hours and hours and hours. Uh, it is so fun and so addictive that uh, I could easily get lost in this. So I have to keep track of my time or we'll end up with hour long uh, episodes in this series. And that's not something I want to get into. So we're going to leave it here for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned as our gameplay series of Foundation will continue.